We are taking a look at super ads today with David Kohler. He's a marketing professor, and good to have you on the show here. Great to be on board. How are those Super Bowl ads looking as far as prices? Well, the um, it's it's consistent that they raise. It went, I think the average price now for a 30 second spot is from 4.8 million to 5 million. Um, there's still a it, it consistently has gone up over time, and and you still see a need for it in terms of advertising. This is a big push. And so uh, this is one chance to make a splash and we're willing to spend the money. Yeah. We want to take a look at yeah. some of the highlights that you'll be seeing this weekend, starting with Budweiser. Now, there could be some controversy about this yeah. ad. Well, um, you know, it's kind of a somber tone this year because of the, I think the election basically made things divisive. And uh, most advertisers are taking kind of, kind of middle of the road path. Nothing really out there that's outrageous or divisive. But I do believe that the Budweiser ad, which I think is excellent, uh, it's a full minute ad and it basically talks about how Anheuser met Bush. You know, most people don't know the story behind it. And it plays on immigration and how Bush had come over from uh, Germany and how he was kind of, uh, you know, people would make comments to him and it kind of touches a a little bit on the immigration end, which is kind of interesting because, you know, Budweiser is the American beer, but it's owned by InBev, which is a that foreign is country. True. That but is true. I thought it was really, you know, they always do emotional ads, and these ads are effective. Oh, Budweiser mm -hmm. loves to tug at the heartstrings, and this, usually with a, the horses. Yeah, we were the, this time they went with a, that's the one message that I felt like was the most compelling out of all the other ads that, uh, that have been out there already. There's also a very, I think, risky ad with Hyundai. They're shooting some of this ad after the kickoff of the game. You, you this know, is an ad in progress. It's uh, it's not been done before. Um, I, I think what, what obviously what they're getting is the buzz, and people want to see how you do an ad. And that you know you have to keep pushing the envelope because you've seen these ads getting over time. They're evolving from you. They're getting released early, uh, getting trailers out there, teaser ads which are out there too as well. Uh, this will be interesting, but then again, that's what you want. You want people to talk about it, and you're doing something no one's ever done before. What do you think about the Mercedes ad? Uh, I, I, it's, it's, I think it's, it's impactful. I think it's successful. What it does is basically it's an ad with, you know, in a biker bar and someone goes to the jukebox and plays Born to be Wild and you see some, you know, some altercations within the bar and it's a rough crowd and, uh, and then, you know, someone comes out and says, hey, our cars, our motorcycles are, are blocked and you go out there and you see the icon Peter Fonda and he's in his Mercedes, you know, in convertible and you see that uh, Born to be Wild and it's kind of going back to the Easy Rider days. Um, and you know, I think it's effective. Uh, they, it, it fits their image, you know, and their image is going to be classy and uh, and right off into the sunset, which for me, I thought it was uh, well done. Another spot that you wanted to mention is the avocado ad. Uh, yeah, John Lovitz comes on and they talk about, and that's, you know, it's kind of in this era of like close to borders, etc. It's a play on avocados and, and uh, you know, most of them you know, come from Mexico. So they're, they're, you know, they want to invest in their brand and get people to realize that. Um, but that's kind of, not, it's not really meant to be a risky ad, but considering today's temperament and, it turned and into the climate, <laughs> it's like, okay, we're, we're talking about an import from Mexico. It just yeah. makes me hungry for nachos. Yes, yes. Thank you for coming on the oh, show. Oh, you're welcome. All good. Thank you.